Back plan youth summer day camps are allowed to open again next Monday. And camps will look a bit different this year and they will have to follow a new list of guidelines. Tonight Fox 59's Melissa Crash shows us how many organizations are finding ways to address these challenges. It wouldn't be summertime at the Fishers YMCA without arts and crafts and time in the woods. But this year, there are new procedures and safety measures starting right at the front door with curbside drop-off and pickup, and that's not all. We've kind of modified some of our programming, and so we are doing summer child care for the summer, um, but we are still able to do a lot of our traditional camp activities. Mark Lance is the senior program director for summer child care. The Y also added hand washing breaks and extra sanitizing. We, we want our staff to be the models and the role models, so we want them to socially distance when they're communicating with the kiddos and with uh, the other staff members. The YMCA is listening closely to guidance from the state and the American Camp Association. One of the challenges was finding a way to keep kids socially distant. All of our programs are much smaller than previous years, mainly for safety. Typically here at the Fishers YMCA, there would be double or triple the amount of kids enrolled in the summer camp. Here at Kaleidoscope Summer Camp, typically 75 kids participate in their programs, but this summer it's been capped at 50. This year we've had to plan different parts of the of the church uh, where smaller groups of kids would go. Cassandra Solon is the director of Camp Kaleidoscope, where they had to hire more staff so they can split kids into multiple groups. She's also added protocols at the daycare entrance. We're planning two weeks at a time. We're researching what is CDC, what is the state of Indiana, their guidelines, what is changing. At the Jewish Community Center, camp was replaced with all day summer care. Children Children and staff will be screened and groups have dedicated spaces, giving kids an outlet for some modified summer fun. I was really excited that we could get a plan in to get them here. We'll continue until school starts back up in the fall. In Fishers, I'm Melissa Crash, Fox 59 News. Well, overnight youth camps and playgrounds will remain closed under stage three of Indiana's back on track plan. Well, Indiana doctors say they're seeing an increase in